All right. So, I'm going to do a quick tutorial on this, so maybe you guys can watch it. Um, so we're going to start a live event on YouTube. You go to live events, click new live event up here, enter a title for it, how to do basic streaming on YouTube. Of course this is a camera recording I'm doing right now, so you do a description, how to basic doesn't make sense how to stream basically all right so we're not going to add any tags or anything I'm just going to keep my end time 1 p.m. it'll actually start whenever I start the event instead of at 1 p.m. so if you start it early it'll start early so you go to create event all right now for this you have to have software like flash media live encoder which is free or some other software but we're going to do the free route because that's how we roll. Yep. All right, so basic ingestion. You're going to select a bit rate. We're going to do 720p. Um, we have a slower internet connection, so I want to be safe. So we're going to do 720p. Um, select your encoder. Now down here, you have to, it's very important, you go to export settings. You have to download a profile to import into Flash Media Live Encoder. So you click on download profile um, it's going to be over here it's a download I'm just going to drag it to my desktop uh, to make it idiot proof alright so um, the next thing we do is oh, I already have flash media live encoder downloaded so I'm going to go down here I'm going to open flash media live encoder um, no thank you I don't want to participate in that shit um, all right, so what I have to do is go up to the top here in Flash Media Live Encoder and open profile, that little file I downloaded. So go to my desktop, open profile, open. It's very important that when you start an event, you only do this one time. Because if you try to start another event with the same profile you downloaded, it won't work. I found, I believe that each file you download every time is a unique file. So it's, I, I think it's tethered to the event you're creating. So you want to start an event and you only want to download your profile uh, when you're about to start it. You can actually save your event well ahead of time and just save it before you go to this step. But anyway, if we go to this, just click OK. All right, so you need to make sure you tell this what we're doing. Now, because I'm using this piece of gear right here, it is a black magic mini recorder basically it turns uh, SDI into Thunderbolt the camera I'm using is an SDI camera and uh, we are running a uh, into this little box and it's coming out Thunderbolt into the Mac mini now if you're using a Mac mini which is a quad core uh, with four gigabytes RAM you will need to run your monitor out HDMI and not Thunderbolt just an FYI uh, so you can leave because it only has one Thunderbolt connector on the back anyway so we're going to go here. Um, this camera, depending on your camera, this may change, but our camera, which we use, is a Blackmagic um, HD 1080i5994. A lot of professional cameras are this way. So click on this, and we should see a picture pop up here. All right, I'm going to be safe, and I'm going to set my bitrate to a little bit lower. Uh, last time I did it, I set it to 2,000 just to be safe. Um, Depending on your connection, you may have to set it lower or higher. You want to maybe go to speedtest.com to figure or speedtest.net to figure that out. So we go to 2000. Make sure your audio is set to Blackmagic audio. Now, if you're using the mini connector on the back of the Mac, you can actually set this to line in. So you can actually have your camera uh, plugged in and then you can run it out of a mixing board. But this way, we're just going to run the SDI directly out of the camera and it carries audio. So we're going to go with Blackmagic Audio. You can actually see that I have a some levels over here. Uh, so click Start. So we start it. It's starting. So you go here to YouTube now that that's started in Flash Media Live Encoder. And uh, Save Changes. You go to your live control room up here at the top. 
preview it. Okay, are you sure you want to preview this live event? Yes. So, we're preparing your event for live streaming. Stream status is good. Your health is good. Uh, this will not be available until it actually is uh, um, done previewing. It'll say start streaming. You'll see this pop up here in a second where it gets blue. Once you start streaming, then it goes live on YouTube. Once it goes live on YouTube, there's probably about a 60 second delay. It's probably a little less than that uh, before you can see it. So you start streaming. Are you sure you want to start streaming? Yes. All right, so we're streaming now. I can actually go and view on the watch page and uh, nothing will happen yet. The event will begin in four minutes, sorry about that. Um, it'll actually start as soon as the camera um, connects, so it's like I said about a 60 second delay, so it probably won't be four minutes, but uh, now we just wait. And uh, the gear we're using here is a quad core Mac Mini um, with four gigabytes of RAM. On the back, it has, um, you need a headphone jack, a microphone jack, uh, HDMI so you can connect an external monitor, and a single Thunderbolt port. Thunderbolt port is what interfaces from my camera into this box right here. Thunderbolt goes to the computer, this goes to the camera. All right. And there it is. Sometimes you do have to refresh your page. Uh, you can actually hear the audio coming out of it now, but there it is. There's Flash Media Live Encoder. It needs to be running in the background. Um, and yeah, that's how you do it. It's pretty simple. Audio is probably a little loud, but this is kind of a quick and dirty uh, basic tutorial on how to do this. So uh, basically what you need is a camera with a SDI or HDMI out, which in this case we're using a JVC Pro camera. You uh, need a Mac Mini and an internet connection. And of course the uh, this little box here, which is the key to it. So how to do it. And I'm going to stop it now. Stop. I go to my manager on here. Video manager. Go to my live. Events. Live events. I've stopped it so it's going to stop short. Um, live control room. And uh, I'll stop streaming on here. The best way to do is actually stop streaming on YouTube beforehand. But uh, I did it backwards. Oh well. All right. That is it.